Sorry guys, I didn't realise the battery had gone on my uh, camera. So I'll show you what I've done, why the uh, battery was gone. So what I was doing, I was getting a little bit carried away. I was putting this uh, battery monitor in. Which it's only a cheap one. It's got a, uh, a little battery shunt to it. So I can, I can check out, uh, as you can see, not sure if you can see that. It's got my voltage there on my leisure batteries. In terms of wattage I'm, I've got, um, amp hours I've used, um, how, how long it's been running, and things like that. So that's just so I can monitor my leisure batteries. So that's what I went and had done. Uh, I also got here, underneath here, is my gas tank uh, level. So by pressing this, it tells me what my gas tank. <coughs> Excuse me. So by pressing this little button here, it tells me what the level of my gas is. Uh, obviously at the moment it's empty, but I will show you the installation of the gas in a little bit and what I did with that. guys that's the bench seat uh, top done uh, I've just got to get some cushions to put on that uh, next I'm going to do the, uh, the bit on the floor in now I'm just going to do a little bit of a raised floor with some LEDs in the flooring so I'm just going to go ahead and do the framework for that now
actually soldering up these LED strips that I want to put around the place. So I'll just finish doing them and then I'll test them and then we'll put them up where they got to go. drinking water done um, let me just go ahead and show you that it's quite a pokey little pump on that so there you go guys this tap here is just for my drinking water so i've now just uh, finished plumbing that up um, let me just go ahead and turn it on and there you go it's uh, a little bit noisy the pump but not so it's only for drinking water so i'm not too worried and what i'm going to be doing is i will under the cabinet I've just put a little container at the moment of water and I will be getting a bigger one to put fresh water in. So that's how it works. And the pump is just over there in the corner. So that's all working now. Okay guys, that's the back doors all uh, insulated and vapour barriered. Uh, I've put the cars back on the bottom just to protect the bottom foot because of the garage area. But I'm just going to carpet straight over the top of that. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm just waiting for the carpet to turn up, which hopefully today. And then I'll carry on with that.
back doors all carpeted. Just got to do around the pillars now. And then that's that done. Okay guys, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to show you my installation of the gas tank. So there's the gas tank there, it's fitted behind the spare wheel underneath the van. Yeah. The uh, white tube there is my copper pipe, which comes out and goes into this valve here. So from this valve, it travels the length of the van there and goes up into my cupboard in the kitchen area. So I'll just go ahead show you where it goes up in the kitchen area now so there's the tank over there at the back of the van beyond the spare wheel this is the white pipe which is my copper pipe that comes all the way up and goes through the floor here and as you can see there's also another cable that goes through there which is for the uh, level gauge so I'll just go inside the van now and show you where that goes so guys it comes up through the floor into this tap here yeah so I can turn it on and off in the van Goes through these little elbows in this copper pipe up into the back of the cooker. So that's my gas insulation. So guys, that'll be it for this week. So hopefully I'll catch you on the next one. So thanks for watching and see you later. Oh, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Bye. Smile upon my face Cause there's excitement in the chase This I know Yeah, I'm going for the ride And by myself I am alive And I saw Still I run towards the wind And let the challenge draw me in Cause I want more Oh, we are all